glad. It is so good to see him. I hope I didn't alarm you. Uh, they're speaking to him now, so at last, I can hear more clearly. I'm so happy to see him again. Oh, it was the pride. I'm so happy. I wonder what news they'll bring back to me. Always more pleasant after speaking with him. Kill! Is much father. I am interpreter of Clarence, of the wise Mothman's enlightenment. How may I be of service to you, child? Tis but your mind. Acclimating to its dust, in order to allow the wise one to absorb the planetary energy of the equinox, the environment must be made more hospitable. What you are experiencing is a temporary relief of the burden that comes with a simpler mind. What you see now is the truth. Do you fear the truth? It can be painful to witness. Simply leave the sacred land and the foggy lens of normal sight shall return to you. We are the wise Mothman's enlightened. We are pilgrims of knowledge. We have ventured from our place of study, the lantern, far from here. During the time of the equinox, myself and a group of observers make the perilous trip to the Wise One's homeland. Yes, I was accompanied by three observers, Errol, Marlin, and Johanna. You will find them tending to the ritual pyres in the far reaches of this sacred site. Oh, if you speak, do not be offended by the absence of their minds. They are but humble witnesses to his wisdom and have much left to learn from him. Far from here, should you ever feel the pull of its light, your journey will take you there. Those of us who endeavor to find the truth in the Wise One's words go through several stages of learning. The observer is the Lara, one who knows their place and knows there is much more to come. For the knowledge of ignorance, of our place, is an essential first step. A bug must first know it's a bug. I, as an interpreter, am a pupil, surrounding myself in a cocoon of his words, absorbing, casting form from them. The venerable wise Charles, who graces us with his company, has broken from his cocoon. He, and very few like him, may flutter and dance in the light of his infinite wisdom for the remainder of his bright but fleeting existence. Please do. This is wise Charles, the forewarned. He holds a special place in our history, like me. He hopes to hear the Wise One's words once again. Our meager form is but a shell, a cocoon. He has broken from it and his vessel has become a cup, overflowing with vision. Exposure to the Wise One's aura 
leaves the mind in a place beyond our own. His vessel offers naught but faint flutters of his wings against the window pane of his mind. Are <laughs> you going to try to speak to him, are you? Well, you may try, but his mind is on another plane, beyond our own. His wisdom is intoxicating, no? Fear not, the equinox is not yet ended. There will be chances to commune with his greatness. We are the wise mothman. Do not mistake us for the dim ones, followers of the red-eyed pretender. Fools who flee from his wisdom and cling to a false god, a flawed, visionless, holy mothman. They seek violence because facing a worthy death is far less frightening than facing the truth. The wise Mothman is a single entity, though immeasurable in power with knowledge beyond the age of man. He is but mortal nonetheless. The red-eyed pretenders are wild animals, seeking nothing but the same violence that their dim followers crave. The dim ones believe the red-eyed animals are harbingers of the holy Mothman. Some kind of otherworldly god, a false idol. They fear their mortality. They fear significance. We embrace it as the wise one has shown us. Spend time with the wise one, without fear, without hesitation. And it will come to you in time. Fear not, the equinox is not yet ended. There will be chances to commune with his greatness. Safe travels, child.